In this video, we'll learn how you can set the default zoom level in Excel. Now, every time you open Excel, the default zoom level is set to 100%. But there might be a time where you would like to change that to maybe 80% or 120%. Now, there is no option available under File and Options in Excel to set the default zoom level as of 2023. But we can achieve this using an Excel macro. And so, first of all, we'll record a macro and then we will set the zoom level to whatever our liking is. So first of all, you need to uh, get the developer ribbon here. So these are different ribbons in Excel, uh, but there is another ribbon called developer. And so right click on the empty space uh, in any ribbon and then click on customize ribbon. And now if you go to the right of these, you can see that there is this developer uh, ribbon that is also available. So let's check this and click OK. And now you can see it just added a, rib a ribbon called developer. Now from here you can record a macro, you can see uh, the actual macro editor and so on. So let's start a record macro. And by default it might be set to this workbook. But what you need to do is set it back to personal macro workbook. Okay. And let's give a name, zoom, let's set to 80. So for now, we'll just set this, we'll record a macro, and then we'll add it some, uh, the, the actual code inside, okay? So click OK. And the way in which you know that it is actually recording, as you can see, there's a stop recording. That means it's already recording. And so let's go and set it to 100%, right? And now I'm going to go and stop recording. So now the macro recording is done. Now, how do you see it? And so right here under developer, if you go to visual basic, it will open a visual basic editor. So here you can see that a book zero or book one, which is not saved, uh, is showing right here. But then here is this personal macro file XLSB. Okay, so let's expand this. And if I expand the modules, this module one, let's double click, you can see that we just whatever we just recorded it just actually shows up here now if we set it to here it won't actually work for all the workbooks and so what we need to do is we need to go and click on this plus icon here and then under microsoft excel objects we'll go to this workbook okay and now we are going to basically tell excel that anytime any workbook is open set the default zoom level to a particular set right so here is what you have to type. Basically, you just say private sub workbook open and then the active window dot zoom is 80%. Okay, so I'm going to also paste this into the description of this video. So you just can copy and paste or you can type. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. And now I'm going to save this. Now, when we save this macro, it's not saved in a particular uh, Excel file that you have. It's actually saved in this personal Excel SB file, which is uh, basically located in the app data and so on. But basically, this is the macro that, that enables any time you run Excel, okay? And so I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this, okay? And let's close Excel, and let's see if it actually works. So I'm going to close this, and then let's open Excel. All right, so we got an error here. Uh, and the reason why we got this error, uh, what, what I realize is that when Excel opens a new file or first time, you know, it brings this like a new file wizard. And so, so Excel doesn't know or the core doesn't know what Zoom setting to set for this. And so let's click on debug or let's click and first. And then I'm going to go to keep it at home go to options and what we need to set is we need to make sure that that wizard doesn't show because all we want is when I open an Excel it should open a new new blank document right and so I'll go down and usually right under general section if you go all the way down right here startup option and then here it says show start screen when this application starts so let's uncheck that because our, we want Excel to open a new blank a worksheet okay so click ok let's close this now let's open excel again 
and look at this setting here so the zoom setting is at 80 percent and beforehand it was 100 percent so again go to developer view uh, visual basic editor and if you go into this workbook you can see that this is what our our zoom setting is you can change this to whatever default setting you want all right so this is how you set a default zoom level whenever you open a new file in excel i hope you like this video if you did click on the like button and if you like the content of this channel then please subscribe to my channel all right thank you